Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss what limits are undefined in calculus. So here we have two example functions. In the green we have f of x is equal to 1 over x. And in the purple we have g of x is equal to the cosine of x, one of the trigonometric functions. We'll take a look at the green one first. Suppose that we're asked the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x. Well, the slight problem here is that the function approaches different values as you approach 0 from different directions. For example, if you take the one-sided limit from the left, you get negative infinity. But when you take the one-sided limit from the right, you get positive infinity. And any time the left and right-hand limits don't agree, then the two-sided limit does not exist. Or you could say it is undefined. The second example, we have our trigonometric function, cosine. Now we can take the limit at any point in the domain, but what happens if we try to compute the limit as x goes to infinity of g of x? Well, this is typically not a problem for most functions whose behavior is well defined. It either shoots up towards positive infinity, shoots down towards negative infinity, or approaches some value asymptotically. But g of x doesn't do any of those things. Cosine just oscillates between 0 and 1 out until infinity. Never approaches one value. So this does not exist. So again, two examples of functions with limits that don't exist. If there is a discontinuity at which the function approaches two different values from different directions, or if the end behavior oscillates and does not approach a single value, then those limits will be undefined. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed what limits are undefined in calculus.